Hi, Lee Hone, Renos, and welcome back to another episode of Second Martha with me, Karen. Well, Thanksgiving is almost here. We have one week left. So let's do an activity that is going to be very simple, very basic, but it will provide that extra punch of detail at the Thanksgiving table that will really wow your friends and family. So what do we need for this activity? Well, I actually took my little buns off to Michael's and I picked up a power pack of neutral colors. I think we can all agree that most Thanksgiving colors tend to be tan or brown or shades of orange or yellow. And for this one, I actually was looking for kind of like a craft brown kind of color. Um, I needed to have a, where are they? Um, double-sided kind of glue tabs. However, if you don't have those, that's fine. Scotch tape also works. You are going to need scissors and you are going to need some decorative serviettes or if you are hoi polloi and you have linen napkins, those will suffice. So let's get to the activity. Okay, so I went to the link that I have actually provided for you guys down below and I printed off one sheet like this and it's going to have two images on it uh, that are going to be saying this phrase give thanks with a grateful heart and you are going to cut up the middle of the sheet using your scissors following along the guidelines and then you are going to put together your little pouch very self-explanatory i don't think you guys need to see me do that actual activity just know that when you go to put together your pouch and you're putting in your double-sided glue tabs or your tape leave enough room that you're going to be putting uh, stuff in this little pouch okay so you have your pouch now what do you do well you go and you get your decorative napkins or your linen and you can really kind of get fancy schmancy if you really really wanted i mean you can do little designs like this or you can actually just do plain old rectangular folds as such. And you are going to put your napkin into the pouch you just made. Okay? So it's going to look like this. I think you know where I'm going with this. Okay. So then you're going to get your utensils and you're going to slide them in the pouch. Uh, along with your napkin. So then you end up with something that looks like this. And this is actually quite lovely. And you put that next to the plates on your Thanksgiving table. And ta-da, done. That's it. Pretty simple. But what if you want something that's not so generic, something that's actually going to be like a name placeholder uh, for someone at your Thanksgiving table? Fear not, because I have found a different download. So this particular download will once again require your craft paper and it's going to print three strips per page, which is great. And the strips will be approximately like this. And it will say things like thankful for, and then you can actually edit what you're thankful for there. Most people put the person's name. I of course have put my daughter's name because I'm thankful that she is letting me film in her room. Although to be fair, I didn't even ask her permission. I just kind of did it. Adults. Anyway, you're going to take your strips, you're going to cut them, and then you're going to fold them so that they look very similar to those Starbucks uh, cup holders. Okay. And once again, you're going to use your little double-sided glue tabs, okay, and uh, or your tape. And so you've got a nice little cuff. Then you are going to take your decorative napkins once again. And you're going to do whatever it is you'd like to do with those decorative napkins. Okay. And I think you know where this is going. So then you have this. And once again, you can put your utensils in there. So here's a little Thanksgiving uh, tidbit for you. At my table, I actually have three younger sisters and a buttload of relatives. So usually our Thanksgiving table is quite busy. And we usually have place cards or place settings that dis uh, dictate who sits where. And fights have been known to break out in my house over who's sitting where and where their name was located on the table. So if this was my Thanksgiving dinner and I wasn't having uh, any fights happening at my table, I would make sure that I put things that I was thankful for. I wouldn't be putting things like thankful for people. I would be putting things like 
I'd be thankful for coffee. I think that's a pretty good one. Let's see, what other things could I be thankful for? If uh, after the Thanksgiving feast is over, I'll tell you right now, I'd be thankful for Spanx. Well guys, that's it, that's all. Something that was very easy to do, uh, required very little material, really just the printer is like the big thing, and it's going to ensure that your place settings are beautiful, um, very seasonal, and uh, probably, at least in my household, are going to calm down the fighting. If you need to get a hold of me, you know what to do. Suck at Martha one at gmail.com. You can follow me on Pinterest. Lady Safi is the name. L-A-D-Y-S-A-F-F-I. I actually now have over 3,000 some odd pins. Yay! So basically, you can fall down that little rabbit hole with me for hours on end. Uh, you can follow me on Snapchat. Suck at Martha. And as always, guys, if you like what I do, thumbs up. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video and you think that it would help someone else, hey, share this video. I have no issues with that. Guys, that's it. I will see you later.